leaving so soon? Hmm? I, I was just going to... I, I have to... I was trying to... Sneak away. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, no, no. I like children. For breakfast? I like this. It's coming on nicely. It's got some balls hanging on down there. I think the th what I would focus on is now getting a bit more um, of the animation. Basically, it's the voice acting feels detached. So if you look at this here, leaving so soon. The thing, so as you start here, this feels very spliny. Right? It's very very soft. You can have a bit more, like some tremble in the arms, maybe some some head darts, looking left and right because it feels like he's really focused but in a way he doesn't know where that big guy is so he might have you know different areas where he's looking over and then the thing is the moment he hears the sound it feels like he should react earlier you know unless if you do so right here on leaving you would have to have an eye blink and maybe he straightens already a bit. Maybe his arms go back like, you know, holy shit, where is he? And then he sees him. When that arm comes in, you definitely want a dart over there. So you could do a, like a really a, a small take like, holy shit, there's his arm. That means he's right there. And then he turns, you know, so all that just feels a bit late. And then on the ogre, you know, so soon. That gets a lot of head movement. You can do a lot of head accents with that audience right now. It just feels like he's just there. So I think that would be the next step to really make sure that they look like they're actually saying those lines. So soon. And then, you know, since he is so close uh, on detail stuff, like he's looking at one eye, then he could dart to the other eye, then he could dart to his mouth. You know, like there's a lot of nervous behavior in the kid. And then see how it sound like he's all like ah, ah, ah. just going to but then his his arm movements are all very soft so i would make him a, a bit more um not poppy but you know there's some moments where the, ah, 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 like where his hands can go up stop up stop and then oh, oh, it's a bit a bit more more nervous and twitchy in a way and then especially on a move like this head move, eye darts, you know, following the guy. And I know you don't want him to move too much, but at this point, we're really losing his pupils. So either you, you know, you follow him and then you blink and then basically he looks back, not at us, but more like that because he knows he's behind him or you turn the heads to really follow. But it's kind of an in-between where you don't want to lose the pupils. You know, so you can do eye darts, a little bit of head move and then head move again towards us. Then that's fine. Sneak away. Then careful here. See how much this is moving? Chest and the head here. Sneak away. And that takes away from the audio. Because you don't really hear all that movement in the audio. So you would have to have big move. And then, and then it's saying sneak away. sneak away. So sneak away would be something like here. Sneak away. Right? And when he's done saying that, then you move him. Then of course the laughter has uh, all that in the body. I mean, no, no. I like children. Pull on the bot on the kid here. He's just drifting over, getting dangerously uh, off balance. Children. And then here he looks like he's just looking over here. So you can act. I would rotate him uh, just a bit more profile. So look, there's more stuff to look at. For breakfast. You know that feels a little bit weird. And we've seen him talk, and then there might be more. Um, threatening actually you know to have something where like that's that's his profile in a way so you can see the big teeth you know that's a bit more menacing than that profile or that three-quarter view all right that's it thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you